Hi, I'm Rob from Hobscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This is the final one of my um, beer mails sent over uh, by Randy at Stone Brewing Co. in Escondido, California. It is a bottle of one of my favourite beers of all time, I've got to admit. Stone Sublimely Self-Righteous Ale. Um, Sublimely Self-Righteous was um, Stone's 11th anniversary beer, brewed first time in 2007. It's Black IPA before Black IPA existed. So, let's get it cracked. Let's get it in the glass once again. Big thanks to Randy for um, sorting me out with these beers. Oh, wow, I've got a whaff of it already. I'll tell you what it is. Uh, first thing I uh, smelled then was um, freshly dug up potatoes, that really earthy hop quality, really kind of fresh, earthy quality. Put a bit in that glass for me aroma. Anyway, the beer in the glass, not completely black, I'm getting like a really, really dark mahogany. There's a little bit of light that gets through, just a little, little bit. But it, it does show that it's more of a kind of like dark mahogany. Nice head of uh, quite foamy, um, kind of mid-tan colour as well. So it's a damn fine looking beer. Anyway, let's get, a, get down to business. Let's have a smell of this, I can't wait. Oh, that's, once again, this is the kind of experience I've never had <laughs> that experience um, with this beer. I've never had one smelling this hoppy. It's got a real kind of um, characteristic, I think they call it T90 um, quality, which is kind of referring to hot pellets, which has a, a certain must, I, I always think, a kind of a slightly resinous must and um, a, kind of like a burnt toast edge but beyond that oh wow lime juice there is a big resinous punch to it actually maybe a slight kind of um, surgical spirit edge in there but big punchy gra grapefruit massive kind of resin notes there's a hint of peppermint weirdly I think that's coming along with that kind of alcoholic edge which you get from the like sigil spirit I'm saying. Yeah, musty, grapefruit. Oh, wow. Wow, I've never, I mean I've had this beer maybe about five, six times. I've never had one that smelled well like that. Wow, incredible. Wow! <laughs> what a beer. Anyway, cheers, back onto the pipe pot. Stone, as you can see, my stone. Stone pine pot, thanks for sending that. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, I think it's because it's fresh. It just, it's, it's more layered. Previously I've always thought, ah, it's a bit like a hoppy, uh, like a super hoppy stout. But it's got a lot more layers as this. Initially quite quite juicy and kind of grapefruit and lemon juice, really kind of fleshy juice of those um, those fruits. And, it, and I guess this has always been the thing with, with like black IPA. It's made of tate, well, supposedly. I personally, I like a bit of a roasted um, malt flavour in there. But it's made of taste like um, IPA and, and just look like stout. Look like a dark beer. But this has got, initially, like a very IPA flavour. Then it becomes a bit more grapefruity. I think they've kind of a slight, mmm, like like a raspberry bubble gum. Yeah, it's like a really nice fruit salad. Yeah, raspberries definitely like a ra fresh fresh raspberries, like squished raspberries. It's very complex, really is. Then it becomes a bit more spiky. Kind of, it kind of dances around on your tongue. It's a bit kind of because it is so hoppy. It becomes a little bit more piney, I guess, like a nice sweet pine.
but it's got a, it's got all of that kind of tart citrus, grapefruit, orange, lemon. Back at the back end, I think when more coffee comes through, it's a real intense coffee, and 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 along with that, a really really nice um, bitter chocolate, which kind of takes the edge off of that hot bitterness, and then it becomes a little bit more. Excuse me. A bit more floral, both with uh, both with the hops and um, with that coffee, which has become slightly earthy. A really nice dark roast to it. It's a little, a little bit sticky around the lips. Oh, and a really nice spark of. A sp I, I, I get this quite often. I don't know if, if if it's one or the other or both, but I think it's both. It's where that meeting of quite a right, quite a nice uh, resinous hop, often quite piney, um, meets that bitterness of the espresso, and it kind of gets a bit muddled up. The this, the malt bitterness and the hop bitterness when it drops away, yeah, this kind of coffee kind of hangs around it, lingers. Lovely roast, kind of wafting around. There's a, there's a little bit of heat, just a little bit of heat. On the chest, you feel it back in my throat. Feels like it's doing me good. <laughs> but that's oh, it's such a beautiful beer. As I said, it's got so so much kind of complexity and depth to it. Oh man, but this beer, this beer seems to be. I mean, because it's been out for since two thousand and seven. It isn't part of. It is part of Stone's um, permanent range now. I, I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like it gets overlooked because this is a freaking amazing beer. It's one of the best beers around. I'd always continue to put it in like my top five, definitely. I mean, it's just perfect. It's got everything you want. Personally, I like black, black IPA. People have got issues with it. I like it because I like the roasted qualities of, of stouts and I like a big, nice, fruity uh, hop um, IPA. And this just blends those two beautifully. It really is one of the best beers in the world, in my opinion. I, f I just think it's astonishingly good. Don't sleep on Sublime Myself Righteous. That's my message to you beer drinkers out there. Anyway, huge thanks to Randy, once again, for sending all these beers from Stone. It's been an absolute pleasure to kind of become reacquainted with these beers. I thought I, I, thought I knew, but... It shows when they're fresh from the brewery. It's a whole different story. This is how it tastes to drink this amazing beer when you're at the brewery in San Diego. It's been a it's been a fantastic ride, and I've been I'm so grateful. So yeah, that is Stone Brewing Co. from Escondido, California. Sublime myself righteous ale. Um, eight point seven percent ABV. You don't drink like that. Man, it's so tasty. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. Thanks for joining me for this week of beers from Stone Brewing Co. It's been awesome. It's been amazing. I'm, 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 as you can see, I'm kind of stumbling over my words. It's just been, it's been great, and I'm just completely overwhelmed by the opportunity that um, Randy gave me to try these beers. I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.